Asthma is a chronic lung disease that affects over 24 million people living in the United States, including more than 6 million children, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. It causes 3 in 5 people living with the disease to limit their physical activity or miss days at school and work. Asthma is also expensive, costing the United States alone approximately $56 billion each year. The month of May is recognized as Asthma Awareness Month and May 2nd is World Asthma Day. People with asthma and organizations such as the CDC and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency that are dedicated to asthma control and education join together to increase awareness about asthma to improve the lives of those with the disease. Education is important because an asthma attack can happen when someone with the condition is exposed to an asthma trigger. Asthma triggers can be very different from one person to another. Some of the most common triggers include exposure to tobacco smoke, dust mites, outdoor air pollution, chemical irritants, cockroach allergen, pets, mold, nitrogen dioxide, and smoke from burning wood or grass. The CDC states that people with asthma can prevent asthma attacks if they learn how to avoid asthma triggers. The agency also reports that studies show that less than half of those with asthma report being taught how to avoid triggers and almost half of adults who were taught how to avoid triggers did not follow most of this advice. Since there is no cure for asthma, people need to know their triggers and learn how to avoid them. If these triggers cannot be avoided, then they need to watch out for a possible asthma attack. Fortunately, there are indoor environmental tests that can be conducted to identify many asthma triggers that may be encountered in people's homes, schools, and work environments. These are just a few things to know about asthma, environmental triggers, and Asthma Awareness Month. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, industrial hygiene, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.